Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a few cool things. We're gonna be installing GNS3 and also a few VMs within. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share, you know the drill. And what I wanna do first is, I wanna go ahead and install GNS3. And if you don't know what GNS3 is, it's a uh, network virtualization or you can virtualize networks sort of like EVNG or maybe Cisco Packet Tracer. But the cool thing about GNS3 or even EVNG, you can you know, set up a huge network with multiple, you know, I wanna be installing maybe a Cisco switch, a Cisco router, and so much more. Browsers, a whole bunch of cool stuff, okay? So you can go right out to GNS3 and just get the software. You can download it for VirtualBox, for VMware. I actually have it for VMware Workstation because that's what I wanna be working with, okay? So let's go ahead and do that first. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. Ignore this, this is just for my last video. And here we have my VM right here and my VM is right here. So I wanna go ahead and just double click on this. VMware Workstation is fine for me. Let's go ahead and hit okay. And this is gonna go ahead, I wanna name it GNS gns3-vm that's totally cool for me i'm going to go ahead and import this once you import it it's going to take a few minutes once it's imported do not power it up because next what we have to do is install the application the all-in-one application in order for us to actually uh, speak with this or interact with the virtual machine so we'll see that shortly so let's just give this a moment to cook and we'll see it here we don't have to do anything with this. And what I wanna do, I wanna go ahead and just add a few more, uh, I wanna go ahead and edit this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add maybe 32 gigs of RAM. And you can just leave it as is, but I have, I have the resources, so I wanna go ahead and just utilize what I have, and that should be good for me, okay? So let's go ahead and just hit okay. And that's, that's cool with me. So now the next thing we have to do is install the all-in-one. So let me go back to my files. And right here, and you can download this right from GNS3. I just put it all in one folder, so it's easier for me to get to. So let's install this. Let's go ahead and hit OK or Next. I agree. GNS3 is fine. I want to go ahead and, uh, I want to go ahead and install everything. That's totally fine for me. And Next. Please select the GNS, I wanna do workstation. That's what I wanna be installing. And let's go ahead and hit next and let it cook. So we'll give this a moment. And then once this is done, then we'll open this up and then start setting this up and installing the rest of the, uh, the setup, you know? Cause this is pretty simple. This is very straightforward, next, next. And then where it comes a little tedious is when we have to set up the virtual server and you'll see that shortly. Okay, so this is fine. Go ahead and hit OK. We can hit Next. I agree. Install. Finished. I agree. And then go ahead and hit I Install. I always get like these damn things on my nose. It tickles my nose. No, I don't do Coke. Just kidding. I shouldn't even say that. I shouldn't even mess around with that. But I'm a ball buster. All right, so let's go ahead and click on Next now and Finished. And we'll let this finish its thing. And this normally takes about, I don't know, three or four minutes to install, depending on, you know, your machine and all that good stuff. So we'll, we'll let this do its thing. All right, here we can put, I agree, accept. Go ahead and hit exit there, that's fine. And now let's go ahead and hit next, yes, next. And then we can X out of here, minimize that. And we don't have to start up that real right now. So let's go ahead and hit finished. And we can hit X out of there. So now we should have it installed, right? So now we can go ahead and open GNS3 up. Let's go ahead and just open GNS3. And we'll let this cook for a second. All right, so now this is starting to connect to the local server. And here, I wish I could make this bigger. So, you know, it's a bummer because I even did it on my local machine, but when I RDP in, it's, you know, it shows super big. All right, so I can just go ahead and close this. Let's go ahead and cancel this. 
And do you want to, uh, not right now. All right. So let me bring this over here and I'll bring that one over there. Okay. So now this is pointing to my local machine, right? So for the server, we have to do something. So we have to go to edit preferences. Right here, GNS VM, we have to enable GNS VM and that's, that's totally fine for me. And my VM name, since I have multiple VMs in VMware, it's the GNS VM. Okay. So that's, that's, that should be all good for me and keep the VM run. That, that's fine when I'm done. So I'm going to hit apply and okay. So now you see on the right hand side here, now that VM is loading up. So this is the. This is the good stuff, right? If you're following along and your VM is starting up, once we indicate that we're pointing to the right machine, you know, we should see it cook in here and go ahead and hit okay. And let it just do its thing. All right. So now we can go ahead and hit okay here. Let's go ahead and make this bigger. All right. So now we have the, GNS VM, right? So now what we can do is next we have to import some of the, so let me come back to my, so now I have a few images here. I have this bin file, this Cisco router. I have this Cisco switch. I have a uh, web terminal and then I have Florida gate right here. So what I want to do next, I want to actually, I, I'm also, you know, reading off my, off my thing. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and go to file, import appliance. And what's the first appliance we're going to do is a Florida gate. So let me go to my documents, Florida gate. Where is it? All files right here. Okay. Supported doesn't exist. Let me, uh, all right, let me come back here. Hold on. Let me make sure I imported the right one. Uh, browse. I need to browse to my Florida gate GNS. Hold on. Where is that file that I, am I going crazy? Oh, right here. It's right in front of me. It's really tiny. So it's just my Florida gate. So let me go ahead and hit okay here. Here we go. So now we're going to go ahead and hit next. We're going to go ahead and hit next. And now here we have, is it 6.4? I'm just going to go ahead and look at my note. Yep. 6.5, uh, 6.4.5. So here, what I want to do is click on browse. Uh, where is browse? Let me, uh, okay. Here it's missing. So I want to go ahead and import. I'm just going to make sure import. Yep. So I want to go ahead and browse to the file. Now here it is. This is the file that I need now. Let me go ahead and open that. Let that cook. So now it's ready to install. Okay. And now we can go ahead and click on next. and hit yes. Okay. So it's available. Okay. Perfect. The username is admin. No password is set. Perfect. Hit finished. Okay. So it's successfully installed it. So let's go ahead and hit. Okay. All right. So now I'm just looking at my, my notes because I did take a few notes. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and install the browser. Okay. So let's go ahead and do the same exact thing import appliance. I want to do browser or web term. That's pretty much what it's called. Next net finished. Okay. All right. So that one is installed. I'm just, like I said, I'm just taking notes and I'm as we go. All right. So next we're going to go ahead and add a switch. All right. So let's go ahead and go to edit preferences. And in my preferences, I want to go down to Quim VMs. And then here we only have this Florida gate. 
right? So next we're gonna go ahead and install a switch. So we're gonna go ahead and, where am I going? Add system blah, 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 go to VM and click on new. Okay, so we're gonna click on new here and then we're gonna make sure we're running it on the VM, okay? Sorry, I don't do this every single day. I was tinkering with this the other day and I was actually taking notes as I was going. So <laughs> I didn't run into this problem, but whatever, notes are good, right? So now let's go ahead and click on next. So name, this is gonna be, uh, what, what is a switch? I'm just gonna make it switch 01, whatever. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on next. This is all fun, right? I guess we can put it 512. Let's give it 512. Okay, let's go ahead and hit next. Next, uh, new image, right? This is where I'm gonna click on new image and add the file. So the now I wanna go ahead and browse out to my documents. And this is going to be the V iOS. Okay, just wanna make sure that's the right file. I think that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and hit finished. All right, so that's switch 01. All right, and now let's hit apply. And now the next thing we're gonna do is, this is the last thing we're gonna do today, is we're gonna go ahead and add a router. <clears throat> so now let's come up to dynamics, iOS routers, and click on new. I wanna run this on the VM, next, browse the image. And let's go out to documents here. This is my bin file for my router. Yes. And we'll give this a moment to cook. <clears throat> go to next. This is fine. I'm just gonna put a route. What, I can't see. Router, that's fine for me dash C7720, that's fine. Hit next, 512 is fine for me. And here we have some network adapters. I wanna go ahead and add a few more adapters. So slot one, I wanna do, yeah, here, and then I wanna do another one. I'm just looking at my notes and this is what I have here. So let's go ahead and hit next, idle PC finder, and we'll uh, see if this actually works. And if it is going to work, we should be golden. And that'll be a wrap for this video. And we'll go and make sure it's all good. So we'll give this a moment. All right, so idle PC has been found suitable. Okay, perfect. Hit okay and finish. All right, so now we have the router. Let's apply this. We have the router and then we have my switch and then my Florida gate. So we are golden for this video. So that's pretty much it for now. So now we have those installed. So obviously if we, if you wanna see it, if we just go, we have the Florida gate here we can look at different routers. We can see the router here, switch. We can see the ATM switch. We can see probably the browser here, the switch here. So you can see everything is working at this point. So we're gonna stop here. This is how you pretty much import and set up pretty much the network for future videos. So hopefully you found this informative. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.